Once the location for the ventilation opening has been selected, start the saw and roll it on the blade to the location to be cut. Bring the saw to full RPM and tilt the saw forward to sink the blade into the roof. The first cut should be about 4 feet long. Stop the blade after making this and every cut before maneuvering to the next. The second cut is at a 45 degree angle to the first cut and should be about 2 feet long. This cut, when intersected with the first and third cuts, will create a knockout that will be used to pull the hole once completed. The third cut is made at a 90 degree angle to the first cut and should be about 7 feet long. The first and third cuts create the 7 of the 798 cut. After completing this cut, stop the blade and roll the saw to the other end of the first cut and make a cut starting here. This cut should also be about 4 feet long. Be sure to overlap all of the cuts when making any ventilation opening to ensure a complete cut. The fifth cut is also about 4 feet long and is made parallel to the first cut. The cuts up to this point make up the 9 of the 798 cut. Now continue cut number 4 until it is the same length as the corresponding cut on the other side of the hole. Notice that this systematic method of cutting a ventilation opening keeps the saw operator outside of the cuts at all times. The final cut is another 4 foot cut parallel to the first cut at the bottom of the ventilation hole. When all of the cuts are completed, you can see the 8 of the 798 method. This technique produces a 3 foot by 6 foot vent hole using 4 foot and 7 foot cuts to allow for overlapping. Now the two 3 foot by 3 foot sections of the hole can be pulled rather than trying to pull a single 3 foot by 6 foot section of roofing material. The 6 foot halogen hook is the ideal tool for opening a ventilation hole. Its prying ability is unmatched by a standard pike pole. Now the ceiling can be pushed down to complete the ventilation opening. Also, see our roof saw safety tips video for additional information.